My name is Ian Fisher. I'm the Engineering CAD Administrator here at Quijack, and I'm in charge of managing all of our data set, including our CAD practices. We manage very large model sets, and they require some babysitting. We do custom boats almost every time. The boat behind me is the only one of its kind. We did the engineering from the ground up on this project. We'll ship it out the door. Odds are we'll never make another one again. Adaptability is a a very big challenge that we have. It's not the same process every time. We're not doing mass production. Traditional two-dimensional documents take a lot of man hours to get right, and they take a lot of man hours to maintain. Revisions of those documents are very labor intensive. One of the big challenges that we ran into is having to pay somebody to run around and manage all the prints. If a print went, uh, got revised, they would have to go hunt down all the old prints gather them up and replace them with new prints. And that was a full-time job. There's a couple things that we do to build better boats in our paperless environment. On all of the plate, we laser etch all the lines where every piece of plate touches up against another piece of plate. So by adding those mark lines to all of our plates, which we do in SolidWorks, and then adding Composer to the shop floor where they can click on a plate and say, hey, that's the one I'm holding. It's got a serial number on it. They can match up all the plates together and they just, like paint by numbers, it goes right together and then they just weld. It's uh, jig free, drawing free, tape measure free production and it produces a massive savings in the time engineering takes to produce their parts and the documentation and allows the production guys to just run with it. Yeah, at Quijack we use a pretty elaborate EPDM implementation. We use it very much like a project management tool as much as just a, a data management tool. When we initiate work to an engineer, we initiate a, give, assign them a task, a data card in EPDM, which walks them through our procedures. Once the project is ready to be issued to the floor, we push it through our final engineering review, where it travels digitally through EPDM around the company. So we eliminate a great deal of error by making sure that everybody sees it, everybody gets their opinions in on what should be changed. So as you guys have converted from uh, 2D to 3D, you're essentially creating the entire design within SOLIDWORKS and then you're pushing that content out to products like SOLIDWORKS Composer, right? To create yeah. your technical communications. So th because we use mark lining and we produce almost no 2D drawing documentation for fabrication, uh, Composer is really critical for us. The way that the guys on the shop floor know what parts go together is they can go into Composer, look at the model, click on the part, and it'll tell them the part number. So they just basically can inspect it and it empowers the people on the floor to answer many of their own questions. Just in the first year, we saved more than $5,000 in paper. Whoa! <laughs> just by going paperless on the floor. Total on our floor, we have probably about five grand worth of computer hardware. It breaks even in the first year, but every year after that, we've, we've made money. For more information, contact your nearest SolidWorks reseller or explore us further on the web.